Hello students, welcome to the theory class, seed production of vegetables, tuber and spices crops. Today's topic is seed extraction. By the end of this class, you will be able to answer the following questions. The difference between tracing and extraction. What are the extraction methods for dry vegetables? What are the extraction methods for wet vegetable fruits? And what are the pros and cons of fermentation and chemical methods of seed extraction? To start with, let's discuss what is tracing and seed extraction. Both methods usually means removal of seeds. Tracing means removal of seed from the dry fruits, while extraction means removal of seed from wet fruits. Coming to the next slide, we have a broad uh, objective of tracing. What is tracing? It is the removal of seed or fruit from the plant material and later for it is to be followed by removal of seed from the attached chaff, straw or other light plant debris attached with the seed. In traditional breeding, in traditional tracing method, it can be applied to both dry seeds and then uh, it can also be applied to fleshy fruits, say for example dry seed heads of onion and dry fruit uh, of chilies and then fleshy fruits of tomato so under seed extraction from dry seeds first one we have uh, here is mechanical tracing so among the various type of mechanical tracing we have uh, a simplest one to a more sophisticated one depending on the use and on the basis of commercial skill and uh, one of the most important thing about mechanical method of tracing is it, it is associated with damage at most of the time. <coughs> so uh, things should be taken care to avoid damage of seeds like adjustment of speed of the beater according to the type of seed materials adjusting with the width of the gap between the beater and the concave and adjusting the airflow and the size of the seed based on the use and purpose coming to the next process next method of uh, seed tracing by from dry seed separations <coughs> which is hand tracing after mechanical tracing we have hand tracing which is the most common method which can be performed with women labor because it is cheap easy and it can be used and a large scale with the with the availability of local levers <coughs> and it is also used when the seed material is of high value because it ensures that there is no damage done after hand tracing what are the different types of hand tracing methods we have rubbing method rubbing is uh, an application a process which involves application of pressure in the in the open and dead trough line with uh, rib rubber beating it is generally uh, it generally involves a process of beating with a stick on a pile of seed materials attached with the plant materials later on the uh, the seeds separated seeds are to be we note <coughs> flailing and rolling so in case of flailing it we use uh, pliable wooden uh, stick and then it, it can be beaten on the uh, the harvested seed material harvested plant and then to separate the seed from the plant material and then next uh, we can also use walk on uh, which is a method which allows uh, children and other persons to walk on the seeds piled up on the uh, <coughs> tarpaulin sheet or on the ground <coughs> So right after all this process, all this traditional method of seed separation or tracing process, we need to uh, go for winnowing, which is separation of seed from the uh, plant debris. Coming to the next slide, we have seed extraction methods for wet or fleshy fruits. The selected seeds are to be separated by the same way as it was picked for the market. So here are several methods where we can use we can use for extraction of 
seed from wet or fleshy fruits first one is manual method fermentation method mechanical method chemical method and seed extraction with by juicing method first one under this category is manual method we have several process like maceration which is practiced in watermelon crushing of the fruit in a bucket of uh, water crushing with the help of uh, crushing with the help of hand in brinjal scrapping of cucumber seeds and drying in the sun separation by <coughs> treating in a bowl of water and letting it uh, for some time and then automatically the seeds will get separated from the pulp scooping which is practiced in pumpkins with the use of a uh, spoon you can scoop out the seeds from the pulp pulpy material next we have manual methods which can be practiced for dry extraction and wet extraction both so under this we have uh, <coughs> uh, the dry extraction can be practiced with manually or mechanically manual extraction is by beating with pliable bamboo stick or by beating against a hard surface or with the use of a thresher uh, under mechanical extraction in this uh, with the use of uh, thresher uh, there is association of mechanical injury so things has to be uh, have to be taken care in uh, with the use of treasures and when it comes to wet extraction it is normally practiced in fleshy fruit vegetables and seeds are separated with pulp and when we uh, see any seed materials attached with a slimy layer of pulp so we need to separate it with the use of 0.1 percent of hcl for two to three minutes coming to the second method of uh, <coughs> seed, uh, seed extraction which is fermentation so in the first process we need to crush the fruit either by food or either by hand and then it is to be allowed for fermentation for 24 to 48 hours also it depends on the type of fruits that we are going to go for seed extraction because sometimes it will lead to one uh, week of uh, fermentation and after some time and after to, uh, 48 hours to one week so we'll be able to see a different uh, separation of pulp and seed materials in two different layers pulp will be on the supernatant and seeds will be on the bottom of the bucket so we can uh, wash this time and again to separate the seeds later on after washing four to five times so in this process we have two advantages which is which involves low cost and unskilled levers and some of the disadvantages here are it takes more time uh, the recovery of seed is less 0.5 to 0.6 percent of seed is recovered and the seed becomes dull since it is fermented for a long period of time and it is not preferred for commercial basis and it is likely to associate with seed borne pathogens as it is associated with fungal uh, pathogens for fermenting coming to the next slide we have here is chemical method under chemical method first one we have here alkali method so <coughs> uh, the process starts with mechanical crushing or it may involves uh, with the help of manual crushing and when the manual crushing is done mechanical or manual crushing is done it has to be treated with a washing soda at the rate of 900 milligram per 4 liter of water and when it is done when it is treated for a, uh, for about one week or so uh, for about 48 hours so uh, you will be able to see a separation between the supernatant and the uh, the seed on the bottom like we have seen in the fermentation process so the alkali method is usually done in in colder areas where fermentation process is slow <clears throat> with the help of uh, washing soda the fermentation process will enhance and separation process of the seed from the from the uh, pulp will be enhanced in this process 
so some of the properties of alkali method of chemical uh, seed extraction is the recovery percentage is also low in this case 0 0.7 to 0.8 percent the luster of the seed will be lost it will become darkened and so thus it is not preferred under commercial basis of seed extraction and under this improper washing leads to injury of seeds sometimes coming to the next slide we have the second method the second chemical method which is acid method which is one of the most common method and uh, for large scale commercial seed production which uh, it is recommended uh, because it gives bright and clean seed uh, it starts with the addition of 30 ml of HCl per liter of seed and pulp mixture which you can see which you have to do after mechanical crushing or manual crushing and addition of acid treatment right after that and letting it uh, and stirring it for one hour continuously the seeds are washed thoroughly with water and sieve and then dried and you can see the same results as it was there after 48 hours uh, in fermentation method so under this uh, some of the benefits are seed extraction and drying can be done on the same day <coughs> seed extraction takes one hour or two one and a half hour while seed drying can be done on a sunny day on the same day and next is higher seed recovery compared to fermentation method and alkali method next is the problems of low and high temperature uh, are avoided because in case of fermentation method we need to have a high temperature to allow the fermentation process to enhance the fermentation process next one is discolored seed resulting from fermentation and alkali method are avoided in this case because with the treatment of acid method we get bright and clean seeds and since acid is treated the seed borne pathogens on the outer layer of the seed are also avoided in this case so these are some of the advantages of acid method of chemical method after tracing or extraction <coughs> seed has to be processed uh, first it is uh, to be uh, pre-cleaned with either manually or mechanically if we have large amount huge amount of labor we can go for manual cleaning and if we have uh, manual equipment for uh, pre-cleaning we can go for it also it is the removal of debris or any dead seeds from the seed material and making it a pure seed and right after that we are going to grade the seeds separation of seeds on different seed sizes with the use of seed grader the simplest being seed grading sieve so under this process we have different seed uh, different sieves with different uh, <coughs> mass uh, so so right from top to bottom there will be separation of seeds based on sizes of different on different layers of the sieves this grading brings homogeneity on the lot which aids in obtaining uniform among the population in the subsequent sowing so if you have any questions you can ask